Floyd with complete dominance. Floyd is on fire right now. Floyd! What a win right there. Floyd is looking like a grown ass man. I don't know exactly the age. I know I was still in elementary school. I'm like, I want to be a gamer when I grow up. Games are so much fun. This is what I want to do. And I just always held on to that dream. Things were really tough at home. My parents divorced at a young age, and I grew up with my mother. I had to kind of just like deal with my mother every day. You know, arguments would happen. About a year before Smash 4 came out, we started connecting a lot. He was just out of high school. There was so much potential in him. He would stay at my house like five to six times a week. He gave me a new place to call home, and that meant more than anything to me at the time. I always thought to myself, the way I could increase the value into his like, highest potential of play would be to be his coach. He looked me in the eyes, and he, he said he really, really wanted to make this work. I knew there were tournament scenes for a bunch of the fighting games. I didn't know the sustainability, how much money there was in it. But I knew if I could, I would want that to be my career. For Apex 2015, that was the first major tournament of Smash 4. I was able to afford the flight, but there was a lot of obstacles. So one, we needed Void's flight. There was a sponsor. He said they could pay for half of his ticket. So we had to get the other half from somewhere. And uh, the only other person we could kind of go to was his mom. She was very, very against Void going in the esports. I think a lot of it really was Charles talking with my mom. I think I was too emotional to really talk, you know, holding back tears. I just had to convince his mother to lend the money, like half of the money, for the plane ticket. I can, like, vividly just remember the living room. I can remember the silence that went on. I just broke down, and I'm like, Mom, like, you haven't supported me in practically anything else in my life. And this is the one thing I really want to do. And if I could just get your support this one time, like, I'd really appreciate that. I honestly didn't believe it when she said, like, OK, sure, I'll, I'll let it happen. Everything lined up for me. I finally got the support of my mom. My dad is supportive. I got Charles coming with me. I got the money to make it. This is my dream. We were playing in some of the hotel rooms, and some people would be playing, and they're like, wow, you're insanely good. Like, how do you think you're going to do? And then he would say, I, I think I'm going to get top three. And then people would laugh at him. Boyd takes it 2-0 over Dyer. Very impressive, Sheik. Excellent well, performance. Certainly. Looking forward to watch more of him and in the remainder of the tournament. I finished getting 33rd, losing to Foe. Out of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. That was a statement to itself. So Zero, he made it like a YouTube video, and he mentioned Void. I had to play uh, Void, who was like supposedly the best Sheik in Hawaii, and he was like upsetting a lot of people money matches. He was very impressed. He had like a little crowd of his friends, you know, cheering him on, and I was just playing. He was pretty good. Later on, Void was visiting SoCal. Zero invited him over to the Sky House. Void got the OK that he could move into the Sky House. That's where he was really at this big crossroad in his life. All right, here comes Roy. He just oh, keeps my, it going. This, he just will not let him go. Oh, oh, my oh, God. Oh, what? Oh. 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 Yeah. It was probably more of a shell shock for him because it's like, oh, wow, like this is happening so fast. When you talk about your dreams, you don't think of it as a reality. On my flight to SoCal, I was sitting there just looking out the window, like, looking back at Hawaii. This is the start of my future. You know what you have to do to succeed. You know you have the potential to succeed. All you have to do is do it. What's up, everybody? I see you guys all getting hype in the chat already. Ooh. It's really cool that now that we're roommates, and in terms of resources, he has a lot of it now. He's very successful. Yep. We're just trying to get him to that so number one spot. I know it sucks, but I feel like just going on the ledge is just better than going high. So with the Smash Masters League, it's going to be this worldwide circuit. 
and everyone's gonna have a chance to get that spot. I think I've shown more than enough of what's needed to become the champion. And it's just like my story, I just have to do it.